I'm here with Craig with CMB Export. Craig, can you tell me a little bit more about what CMB is? CMB is what's called an EB-5 regional center. Uh, EB-5 is employment-based fifth preference. Um, basically what we do is we pool investor capital from across the world, make investments here into the U.S. economy. Um, our clients are looking for permanent residency here in the United States and the U.S. government's got an investor visa program that we operate under. How important is foreign trade not only to this region but the co country as a whole? Well, it, it, I can speak under our program is that we as a regional center have been able to pool about $400 million worth of investor capital that's been invested here in California. It's been married up to, I'd say, somewhere in the area of about $2 billion to about $3 billion worth of overall projects. Can you tell me a little bit more about the EV program and, and how it actually works and runs for those businesses looking for foreign direct foreign investment and for those who want to come to this country? Yeah, it, actually it's a perfect marriage for areas like Riverside County that are experiencing high unemployment because one of the main constraints under this program is that new American jobs are created as a result of these investments. So if there's either um, businesses that are looking to expand and be able to add on additional employees or if there's units of local government which is one of the, the entities that we work with that want to push forward, let's say, infrastructure initiatives, build new infrastructure. Businesses will be able to locate there. When businesses locate there, new jobs are created. So EB-5 can work with both the, the business aspect of things. It can also work with governments and be able to push their initiatives forward, um, sort of fast-track things. So with some of the things that this county has done, how does the county of Riverside compare to the rest of the to the United States right now? Uh, well, California as a whole seems to be suffering um, with high unemployment. Uh, Riverside County is, is a perfect example of that. But also there's um, lots of initiatives that are set to take place here in Riverside County. I've spent a lot of time, let's say, down in the Palm Springs area and looked at a lot of the renewable projects that are going to happen down there that I think that uh, it's almost a perfect time for what Riverside County wants to do, um, what businesses are going to do, and then um, for EB-5 and, and our company to be able to, to make up that shortfall in capital. Can you tell me how, how exactly does your company work and, 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 and how do you help businesses? Well, I mean, it, it, there's actually about three roles to this. There's the individual investor that lives in another part of the world that wants to gain permanent residency here in the United States. Um, there's businesses or units of local government that in today's economy are having a hard time attracting capital. And then there's um, areas of the United States that need to see job creation. That if you take all of these three moving parts and put them together, um, EB-5 is actually that new jobs, um, millions of dollars to be able to uh, be invested into businesses or to assist governments. Now, I understand you're, 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 you're one of just a few companies that do that, and your company is actually leading, I, I believe? Well, it, it, I'd say today there's somewhere in the area of about 190 regional centers in the United States. Out of this 190, the vast majority of them have come into operation in the last couple of years. Uh, we were originally designated in 1997. I'd say without a doubt we're the most successful regional center here in California and probably one of the top three to five in the United States. So businesses looking for foreign direct investment, what, what steps do they need to take to contact you and, and, and get that investment for their companies? Uh, Tom Freeman, who works for the county. Uh, I know Tom very well. Tom has all of my contact information. The other thing is our company is called CMB Export. We're on the Internet. Um, they're more than welcome to either contact me by phone, by email, make contact with Tom, especially any enterprise here in Riverside County that's wondering how EB-5 can play a role with them. Tom would be a very good conduit uh, to be able to put us together. So, so your organization and what you're doing is pretty, a pretty good alternative to what the banks aren't doing right now, correct? It, it Actually, it, uh, a lot of what we are becoming involved in or looking at are businesses that probably three years ago would have been very easy for them to attract capital. But when the capital markets changed, some of these businesses with very good projects ended up with a shortfall. 
EB-5 can't fund 100% of any project. It just doesn't work because of the job creation requirements that go along with it. But in these shortfalls, EB-5 is a very good marriage as long as we work in areas of high unemployment, which is defined as 150% of the national average, and that job creation is going to take place in its 10 new American jobs per investor. These are requirements of the program, so uh, we have to vet things from an immigration side when we deal with the business more than we do with the business aspects of the investment itself. So for businesses that are currently located in this region or businesses looking to relocate, Riverside County does offer them a pretty good opportunity, correct? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I've made several trips here to, to Riverside County, sat with Tom uh, many times and discussed how EB-5 can play a role, either with new businesses, uh, businesses looking to expand, or like I say, even units of government. Uh, out of the $400 million that we've invested here in California, about half of it has been invested with units of lo local government that are looking to do roads, water, uh, bridges, communications, I've done airport runways, I've done a U.S. Customs building. So, I mean, uh, basically almost any type of infrastructure is something that we can help fund also.